we have a perfect example of why the British public are sick and tired of the type of politicians we are sending to Parliament. Here is Michael Gove. Now, there's nothing new about this uh, type of news updates. It's uh, we've seen all the type of politicians. Keir Starmer is a perfect example of a clown who keeps sitting on the fence, promises one thing to one group, goes over there and makes deal behind closed doors. One day he's anti-Brexit, the next day he loves Brexit. Rishi Sunak is another one, and we had all every single one of them. Ed Miliband was a good example. But today, we are focusing on Michael Gove. Michael Gove, who is a very good at TV interviews, good at debating, he's very smart, he's a great operator, he's very disliked, he's very controversial. He, because he was more like a, a safe pair of hands, they decided to send him uh, on to uh, the, the go do the media round on Sunday. Clearly, they didn't give him the briefing properly because uh, he started doing the TV interviews and then 20 minutes later, Nadim Zahawi was sacked. And <laughs> So the first part of the interviews, he said one thing, and then he completely said the exact opposite, the next bit. Uh, watch this video, this uh, edit was done by uh, Guido. Um, I, I, I know that Nadine wants the, the thing done with. Um, I, I haven't spoken to Laurie Magnus, I wouldn't. Uh, so, but I, I don't know. Uh, he concluded his report, he wrote to the Prime Minister, I think, early today, mm -hmm. um, and then the Prime Minister, uh, immediately upon receipt of the letter, decided that Nadine could no longer stay in the Cabinet. Um, yeah. They genuinely think we're idiots. When politicians like this go out there and treat us like we are idiots, it's our responsibility to fight back. It's our responsibility in terms of what sort of politicians we're sending to Parliament. When it comes to the, the intellectual, the, the level of intellectual debate that we're having in British politics, it doesn't just apply to Parliament, but it's across the board when it comes to British politics. And if we want to have some sort of sanity, we need to do something about it. The people. I know we are assuming that we don't really have any power. It's because the, the, the system is representative and we don't really have direct democracy. That's fine. We can still fight back. Now, the issue that we have is that, of course, this Tory government, the British Sunak's cabinet, they're simply spending every single day putting out fires and being defensive. They're not coming up with any new policy ideas. They're not coming up with any new vision. And it's, it's, it, it, they're completely all over the place. And I've been repeating myself these days. They promised us Tory unity. The whole party is not really united. They promised us grown up politics. They said no more scandals. Rishi Sunak has already been fined. He's, he's been fined twice, the fixed penalty notice, more than Boris Johnson. He has also been uh, witnessing a number of scandals every single day, from Nadim Zahawi to Dominic Raab. Ron Shapps photoshopping Boris out of pictures. It's been absolutely crazy. What happened to the grown-up politics that we were promised? It's not there, is it? Well, we're going to keep an eye on all these issues. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back in half an hour. We have a number of other news updates for you guys uh, to uh, see from this channel. We got the latest update on the uprising in Iran, as well as the latest from Scotland and the SMB government. And finally the latest impartiality report uh, that exposed the bias of the BBC. Thank you for watching. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.